Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So the first card actually has nothing to do with winter woods. And I'm going to do it first because it's like a Thanksgiving card. And, um, whoa. Here's all, like, all my pieces. All right, let's move this out of the way. I'll give you a quick peek at the card. So, there's my pieces. So, it's just a quick Thanksgiving card. But... I wanted to use more of this um, gold and copper paper tonight. So let me get a little, I thought I was ready. So I did put this through with the um, sticky sheets. I don't know why I didn't take this out. I said, maybe they want to see that. I don't know. I don't know. So then all these pieces just fall out like afterwards when you use the uh, sticky sheets. Actually, they'll fall off when you pull the backing piece off. That was my experience when I used to use this stuff. So I haven't used it really in a while. So we're going to see. And this had an extra from the other one. All right, you'll probably come off too when it, yeah, I think it will. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I forgot to save the, um, the eye, so we're going to pretend it doesn't have an eye. Like, that's just the way it's going to go. So, to me, glue is easier because of my fingers. Because, like, I don't feel this paper. Just saying. So, if anybody else has that problem... And... I'm probably living dangerous by taking it all off at the same time but uh, let's see if I can get a little closer so what I want to do is and why I chose to do this was I don't want to get glue all over the gold so you have to be a little bit more careful a little bit slower and I'm kind of putting it down and to the right. Right? Right. Ooh. These skinny letters. So like that. And for a quick card, <laughs> it just takes a little fixing. So... The T is a drop. Oh, it's loose enough. I can fix it. Okay. So that makes it like a little stronger by doing that. Of course, this doesn't have like a tear piece. Oh, I see an opening right there. Come off. Yay. Okay, this one's going to go faster. Oh, yeah, I hope that piece comes off. Let's pull it off now because I'm a little nervous. There we go. All right, so we're going to do the same thing to this. A little down and to the right. And of course, it's sticking to my hand. So this one might be a little bit more to the right than I wanted it. Like right up in there. But it's okay. It's okay. That's what I say. Alright, so from here, 
it's going to go fast. So this is the die from Nature's Thoughts, and we're going to be using this again. And that part is like all done. So let's put this. This piece right here is four and a half by three and an eighth. And that fits that perfectly, and I put it through the subtle folder. This paper is five and a quarter by four, and this is the in color six by six, and this is the cinnamon, cinnamon something, uh, cinnamon cider. Yeah. All right, so let's put that together. And it does have two sides. Oh, I should have changed my glue because this is like almost empty. And I have to order more. Uh, I have to check my drawer when I'm finished with this card. I should have another full one. Now, this could be mounted up if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave it flat. So, I'm going to do it separate. I'm going to do this. Let me check for uh, another glue. Oh, yeah, baby. I don't want to be banging your heads. You like them, my plaid nails? Finally did them last night. They were bad. And then I just broke one before, so I had to put a new piece over that. So that's a double layer of nail. So what I really liked about using that is I didn't get glue all over that like I did on this one. So there's definitely a plus to doing that. Definitely. Definitely. What did I do? All right. Get rid of that cap. Because this this will go right in my stand. Okay, so now let me fight with that. Ooh, not too much of a fight that time. So we're going to put that right there. And I'm going to fix that spot. Thanksgiving. Oh, that didn't work. I'll have to make a little, um, hmm, let me get a black marker and see if I can make a dot. Otherwise, I'm going to have to cut a little piece. Oh, now I'm so happy. I'm still going to cut a little piece later. I don't know how or why I forgot about that little eye a couple times. You'll see. And then the happy. And if you want to put other stuff on it, you can. I didn't. And there's a quick card. Simple layering. All right, let's get rid of that. I just throw things. Oh, I have this right here. See, now those came from... This set, Word Wishes. Finally, I put something away. You should see my table over there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, which one do I want to do next? We'll do this one. And it's missing the eye, too. Okay, so we're going to put that aside. So this one I put through the evergreen folder, and this is black, five by three and three quarters. I got pieces of everything all over. 
So what I did from those dies is I cut out a bunch of these. So I did a couple in, we're going to have pieces all over. I did a couple in copper and then three in gold. Only one in that one. So we're going to have three along. Oh, I thought I lost that. Uh, that's not missing any. I'm missing a gold one. All right, we're going to have three. Oh, no, I did it right. Duh. This one goes there. So there's three that are going to be like that, and then the other two layer on top. Duh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did it wrong. No, oh, I did it right. Yeah, unless I'm really thinking about those dots, I, like, forget about them. So I just usually, you know, when I'm just making cards, just go cut a little edge of something and and fix that problem. Come on, you're brand new. I'm afraid to squeeze it too hard because it's new and I don't want it to glob. But these I could have used the sticky back too. And on these, it really would have been easy to put together. But, you know, I, I wasn't totally thinking. Good thing that dries clear. All right. So I'm going to be a little sloppy here so I can get it done and then I'll change the paper if I have to. And of course, I do have a nice little mat, but you know. I'm telling you, one of these days I'm I'm just going to shock everybody and be like totally totally organized today wasn't the day to do that though the electricity kept going off from this storm of course sue who lives 10 minutes away didn't lose hers but it kept blinking and blinking and blinking Then it would come on, stay on for a couple minutes, and boom. And my dog is also afraid of when the electricity goes out. So you know where she was trying to crawl. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the, that one is kind of sticking up, but it's going to get held down with this if I get it on good. If, if, there's always, I should have used the sticky sheets. These would have been a cinch. Oh yeah, Gail's doing easy cards tonight. But look how good that looks. So basically, this is really an easy card, too, if you get, you know, get these down. And I could have been smarter and used a sponge and the glue and dabbed it. But no. Gail likes to do things the hard way. <laughs> Yeah. So my title should be Easy Cards the Hard Way by Gail Sue. All right, so we're going to flip that over. And then I'm just going to trim these off. And then we're going to play with a little bit more glue. So why did I flip it over? I'll just change the paper. So then... 
I'm very, very sticky. There must be a song that goes with sticky. Oh, I can use that piece as the eye. I betcha. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. Okay. We're going to leave you right there. So we got the Maui. And the Christmas. On the good chip. Lollipop. Which has nothing to do with Christmas. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So we're going to put that there. Oh, come on. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Yep. When I, oh, oh that's going to be on the inside. And usually I cut out another piece, but I didn't this time. So I'm going to over glue it. Not that I don't over glue things anyway, but, but because that went through a folder. And we're going to put that down. We got a lot of shiny stuff for this card. I'm going to flip it over. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. And then at the very end, I'm going to put on that little dot. Glue. Nope, it just doesn't want to stick to this. So, I'm going to stick some, um, like, glue dots under that. Just right there. And up in that corner. <sighs> Another very easy card by Gail Sue. And there. I'm not hiding it. I'm just keeping it from jumping off the paper. Uh, oh, this is just, um, oh, I got ink on it. Um, a whiteboard eraser. So, like, I use it with the Stamparatus, and then it's pretty good to go on the back of the cards. And let's see if my eraser... Oh, that spot went away. It must have been one of these, like, sticky things. <laughs> there it was. So there's that very easy, not-so-easy card. And I am going to stick a couple. You know what? I think I'll weight it down right now with a block. And that's the ticket. So I'm going to put it over here and just weight it down and it'll be good. It'll be good. All right, next card mm -mm -mm. is this one. So what I did is that same die from Nature's Thoughts and then one of the from stitched rectangles you cut out the center and what we're going to do 
is emboss it and I'm going to make sure that I put my powder on it because yeah my sticky fingers we could have sticky fingerprints on here embossed in gold yeah okay so we've got that and hopefully hopefully I cleaned it but I'm thinking not oh no okay so we're gonna stamp that right there yeah I didn't clean it but that's all right but I do want to get rid of that and grab a clean piece and put a little powder on here Methinks there is a fingerprint now. Come on, fingers. Yep, that should work. Okay, so let's heat this up. So you want your gun to be warm, so I'm going to warm it up down below a little bit. And bring it in, and as soon as it starts, start moving it. Look how pretty that is. Okay. So then, we're going to take that piece, rub when my fan's on and I'm using some kind of powder. Okay, so now we're going to take this, that's what was on it too, this crumb cake. So we're doing crumb cake on crumb cake. And this is five and a quarter by four. And I'm just inking up this part of it here. So I'm gonna stamp there. there there and oh I went too far it's all right we're gonna come back over there oops And that part really I got okay that works so now we'll turn that over now can you see where I'm going with this so then I want to show you like if you were using different colors but I wasn't sure like I kind of like it with the white also but let me put and since this came out darker that's where I stamped my greeting so do 
I have a piece of crumb cake? Do I? Do I? No, I'm going to do it in the black anyway. So I want to do that to make sure it's all in the right space. Seriously, I have no fingers today. Okay, so we have our season's greetings. And I think that's yeah, all right. I think I cut it for some reason a little little larger. But it should be five and a quarter by four. Unless I'm just used to my three eighths difference that I don't know that it looks bigger to me. Okay, so then we're going to put this piece down. And really, this was not a hard card either. So we're going to put the frame there. And you could pop that up if you wanted. Mm, checking to see if it's about even. And now I put glue on it. Where'd I put it? Okay, and then we can put this one down. Hi, Fran. I almost put the trees upside down. So then that's just going to fit right into there. We'll weight it down for a second. I need a piece of, um, oh, I know, I'll spray some on my hand, some alcohol. De-stick a little bit. I'm going to put that to the side too, right there, just like that. But that card's done. But I'll show it again. But it's a whole different look, like if you add, you know, a white piece. Instead, mix and match. Okay, so this is the final card. So this paper, as I flip things, is from Ornate Garden Specialty Paper. But it's got that gold, and I liked it. So let's put this. And you could cut the center out of that, too, to save. Lighten the weight of your card. Use your tape instead of, that's, I'm going to have to order it, our new tape. Just for certain projects. Okay, so now, how did I do that? Well, I took the die and traced around it. It's not in the container. 
So I just took it, traced around it with a pencil. I still see some pencil marks, so I'm going to quickly erase them. And I cut it by hand, but if I was doing a bunch of them, I would use the scan and cut. Okay. So we're going to put down the bottom layer. And yes, I'm going to cry because it doesn't want to stick again for whatever reason. Oh, it's going to stick. Maybe. Maybe not. You think I saved the best for last? <laughs> I just wanted it to be a gold night. I wanted to come up with some more. Okay, so this layer, this little layer had porridge. So we're going to lift up on these things. And then now that we got them kind of uppity, ooh, uppity, we're going to take the eensy weensies. Oh, the eye! It's there. It'll be gone by the time I finish this card, or I'll forget until I look at the card again. So what I'm doing is just trying to fit them kind of in between. And on the bottom there, on the bottom here. And if you wanna like cut them smaller, you can uh, do one there and then right up at the top and one there maybe one right there so now we'll pick those off I'm just wondering. I probably should have cut a couple. Nah. Eh. Saggy bits. It's all right. And I'll lift them up again at the end. Ooh. I can go underneath and push them up. No, this one is hitting like a little piece of one. No, it's not. Why didn't it want to go up? All right, let's put the card together and then I'll flick them up again. So this one is the jaded, oh, gal, just jade. I wanted to say jaded spruce. And the other one is mint macaron. So, let me do this part first. <laughs> ha ha, ho ho, strange things are happening. All right, so we're going to do this. Now, you could emboss this, but I didn't. Maybe I should have. Would have been a little bit cooler. So, we're going to take my brand new punch. Oh, I was going to emboss the wrong thing. This is the larger one. Good thing I looked. I turned it over. 
All right, so we're going to, because that one's bigger, we are going to look on the back. And it's a little off because it doesn't go to the side. Learn something every day, folks. But better to see me make the mistake than you make the mistake. Just saying. So I'm going to cut that off. And we're going to fix that after. But I know the other card. Oh, I know what. I don't know why. Okay. This piece. So mint macaron. This will go through perfectly. Psh. Let's check it and make sure. There we are. Okay. So now, that's entertainment. Do, 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 do. Okay. I got this. So I'm going to cut some of it off. I know I didn't cut the other one by hand. I know I didn't. I cut it in that. But it has an edge, so it should have done it because the other one did it. I'll have to play more, get back to you. So that's going to go there, and then that's going to get tucked under. I might just leave it just like that. I think it's good. Oh, I like it. Okay. I planned it like that the whole time. Okay, and you could, like, put really pretty ribbon would go with this, but I didn't look. I bet I have some. That would be beautiful. I don't know why I buy it. I never use it. Hardly ever. Okay, so we're going to just glue that right down there. I don't have to measure again, because I know that tree is going to fit right over it. Don't I? So I'm not going to pop that up because that piece is popped up. And you could doll this up more. I mean, you could doll it up with, you know, definitely with some ribbon or some gems. We could throw a few gems on there now since I didn't put the gems on the other one because they're underneath blocks. But first, let's put that on that Just Jade. So you got to check all the paper you own because you never know what's going to go with something else. I mean, you, you think of that paper and you go, oh, flowers. And you never go back to it, you know, thinking for Christmas. So yeah, so, oh, why'd I throw that away? So you could put something on the top of the tree if you wanted, but I don't want to. Oops. Uh, I don't like that. It's got to be, it's got to be, I don't know. I'm so bad at placement with these things. I'll design the cards. Can somebody do my placement? <laughs> okay, so that was the last card.
Let me bring them back. Let's get rid of this. See, this was the first one, and I actually did it on... So I'm going to, like, rip off this whole piece, because first I embossed it, and I said, okay, that's cool. And I was looking at it, and I didn't like it. So then I added the white piece, and I didn't like that either. And then I realized that I needed the mint macaron to, and a little gold. So sometimes you just got to look at your card. Maybe not glue it. Maybe sometimes temporary glue it. Oh, it's all stuck down now. And then we have our Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to lift this up and then neaten them a little bit. So yeah, that's my uh, cards for tonight. Are they all in the picture? Oh, there's such a delay. I can't believe that. You like the row of trees. This one? That one? They're pretty easy. I mean, you know, I hope they're easy. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so these are them. Um, it's Wednesday. I will be back Saturday coloring on uh, Stamp with Gail Sue sharing group. 11.30 in the morning, and then Sunday, 8 o'clock at night, you know my motto. I don't know what, but it'll be something. Thanks, everybody, for joining me tonight. See you soon. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>